Dealing with the same thing yesterday with those storms pounding lots of the metro area and the North Shore. Lee Southwick joining us now with uh, similar conditions once again today, so we need to be prepared. Yeah, absolutely. More thunderstorms on the way this afternoon. We are under a marginal risk of excessive rainfall, which means we could have some street flooding. We're already tracking some showers this morning at 446 AM. You can see these showers working their way mainly across the South Shore, but a little bit of activity for those of you on the North Shore too. I'm going to start on the South Shore near Lafitte. We have those showers moving on through and that extends down towards Grand Isle now starting to clear out and it's heading towards the mouth of the river. Now also over towards towards Thibodeau. This is where we're seeing more shower activity and more also moving in from the west. So they already saw some showers. Now you're getting a little bit more of that scattered activity. What you did see has now moved over to places like Raceland, Lockport, also seeing some of that shower activity too. And then up onto the North Shore, we are also watching a few of these showers work their way from Independence and Roseland off to the east through the Franklinton, Bogalusa and Poplarville area. Besides that, we do have a little bit of isolated shower activity, some of it trying to to work its way over the West Bank. Now we'll keep an eye on it. It's just those isolated light showers though. We are starting off warm and muggy. No surprise there. Most of us in the 70s with the lakefront Galliano and Buris all sitting in the 80s. Today highs will be 88 to 94 degrees. It will be partly sunny and warm when you are dry. It will feel hot again with highs moving into the 90s if you stay dry and heat index values up to 106. But a lot of us will see rain today. More thunderstorms possible with that locally heavy rain risk. You can see that we have all been highlighted under that level one marginal threat of street flooding. So what does the day look like? I think we'll see more thunderstorm activity start to ramp up in the afternoon hours with that daytime heating. So more scattered showers and thunderstorms, perhaps even numerous at times in the afternoon and then into the evening. Similar to yesterday, I cannot completely rule out those thunderstorms overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy, warm and muggy. We could see ice to scattered showers overnight again and lows will be in the low and middle 70s for most of you on the North Shore and middle 70s to low 80s for those of you on the South Shore. So then tomorrow, very similar to today, starting warm and muggy and in the afternoon hours, more showers, more thunderstorms, hot and humid with a heat index getting up to around 106 degrees again. So on our Friday, more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. Again, I'm going with a 70% chance of rain on Friday, but then I'm going to pull back those rain chances a bit Saturday and Sunday. Still not going to be completely dry, so keep that in mind that you might need a backup rain plan for those of you getting out side this weekend, but 40 to 50% at least I don't think we're going to see as widespread shower and storm activity as we are seeing today and tomorrow. Besides that, it will be hot. Highs will be near 94 degrees both Saturday and on Sunday. Quick check on the tropics. Still nothing to expect over the next seven days. We have some Saharan dust to thank for that too, keeping things quiet out there. So no tropical concerns for us, but we will see showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow with the localized flooding risk today. We could have some street flooding and then I think that rain chances will try to drop back a little bit starting this weekend. All right, Lee, thank you very much.